What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Beauty and the Beast. Today we're going to give you guys our update. It's been a, a little over a week since the last time we did our last video. Been busy. Family life, family ties, great show. But we wanted to uh, get back with you guys and let you know what we kind of been playing, what we've been kind of doing. And it's been really, I guess, like a, a super big week for you and I, right? Uh, as far as gaming goes, because uh, Resident Evil 4, the remake, came out. Mm -hmm. And uh, on the 24th of March, and uh, it was something that I was really, really excited to get. And are you a big fan of Resident Evil, by the way, Beauty? Um, I mean, not, I would never really was. Uh, but when we played five together, that's when I really got into it. Cool, cool. Uh, that's really, um, I guess, a rare kind of story because most people didn't play 5 or didn't like it nearly as much. So we, we kind of bonded over 5 with Sheva, yeah. Sheva and Chris punching rocks and stuff. But Resident Evil, the, the franchise in itself, has been one of my favorite franchises since PlayStation 1 days when Resident Evil 1 came out. Each one came out and it kind of shook the ground until Resident Evil 4 came, which was a GameCube exclusive. Exclusive, exclusive. <laughs> It was a GameCube exclusive, which is something that, imagine hearing that today, <laughs> a GameCube exclusive, that Capcom worked together um, with Nintendo, and they developed it in-house, and it was developed with the GameCube in mind, and it was able to do things at the time that was really, really pushing the envelope as far as technology, and they wanted to compete, and so they made Resident Evil 4 on GameCube in this crazy controller, and then actually they had a special edition that came out. And the GameCube controller was actually a chainsaw. For real? Yeah, so that, that was the special edition where you got the chainsaw. So, I mean, I beat the original game over 40 times. I, I played it to the point where that was the first mental health crisis of my life. I played it. I was with my son's mother, and I was trying to go to sleep. And I couldn't sleep because all I saw was Leon running, holding his gun. Couldn't see anything else. So I spent a lot of time playing that game. I I played it, but I had to borrow a GameCube to play it, and I only got through like part of the game. I never got the GameCube back, and I never finished it. Terrible, so, terrible, yeah. terrible story. I'm so sorry that happened to you. It seems so unfair. Well, now I get to play it on a PS5, so not really. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little bit different, and, and it's so, so interesting, because usually uh, when there's a remake, there's there's nuance changes sometimes they push the envelope as far as changes i've noticed so many changes in this game but it it never changes the narrative or the feel of the game they've changed the puzzles the puzzles are a little bit more intricate uh, they've changed places and and, and and maps slightly ever so slightly but you always kind of feel like uh, you know the place you know where you are you know what to do so, you know, the overall feel of the game is there. I just think it feels better than ever. One thing I will say, the original, you know, Leon, if you aimed at somebody, you were aiming at them. With this new engine that Capcom uses, Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3, it they make it a little bit harder for you to aim. Your body kind of sways realistically. And I think uh, at the end of the day, that's probably something that's a net benefit to the experience. Yeah. As someone who's never beat the game before, kind of have a, a background in the game, you know what it's all about from the past. How are you feeling playing it now, and, and what is it exciting? Is it cutting edge? Do you feel like it's something that needed to be made? I mean, I really, I only played it that one time in the past, so I don't have a good recollection of playing it and how different it is. Like, there's a lot of things I didn't remember that I just played through, so... You know, it's like it's kind of like I'm just playing it all over again, brand new. Like I've never played it before. The first time, and, okay. Yeah, but I do really like it. It's really fun. Um, aiming and shooting is kind of hard sometimes, <laughs> but I guess that's all Resident Evil games. So you're you're pretty close. I wouldn't say pretty close. You're almost you're three quarters through the game. I would say. Okay. Almost three quarters, and okay. uh, it's definitely something. You, now, hate to say it, she's been playing uh, God of War now for how long? forever a long because, time well she, we just got back into like hardcore gaming but god, of, god of war has been in those playstations now for a minute and when, when we have spare time we come downstairs play for an hour and so it's like uh you know crossing the desert trying to get that game finished but she did stop playing god of war to play resident evil so um, is it because resident evil is better or do you think that it, 
you feel more like beating it or do you think it's like easier to beat? I feel like I get through it faster. Gotcha. Um, I wouldn't say it's easier, but I kind of was super invested into the God of War, so I, I kind of just want to get this over with. Okay. <laughs> to play God of War. Got you, got you, got you. Um, right, and right. then we ju- we started playing it together, so I was just like, let me finish playing it with him. And yeah. then I'll go back to God of War. I've had a little uh, sidetrack from uh, Resident Evil 4, guys. Um, and, and that situation occurred because of a little package here called the PlayStation VR. And um, that's taken uh, some of my time, right? Oh, yeah. So in the past, I was it was the lonely VR gamer. And uh, Kate didn't really get into VR. And she had legitimate reasons. She had eye issues, and then when you used to put the helmet on, if you moved around, you'd feel discombobulated and feel like you're losing, wanting yeah, to throw got, up. Yeah, it's making, I got vertigo and stuff. Yeah, yeah, vertigo. That's the word I was looking for. Um, and I understood that because there were some games that I bought that really, really had a bad effect on me and it put a bad taste in my mouth. Um, and so I was really apprehensive about um, getting Kate to uh, give it a try. Uh, you know, I kind of talked to her about it for a while because I know that, you know, her past, she doesn't want to mess with that shit. And so um, she finally agreed. We came downstairs and hung out. You you actually sat with that thing on for about an hour, um, which was to me really, really shocking because, uh, you know, the Vertigo VR stuff is really palpable. How would you rate the PSVR 2 um so far with the games I have, you know, I got Thumper, we got Resident Evil, um, Village, uh, we got, uh, Horizon, Horizon. we got, um, After the Fall, uh, which is that first person, well, not first person, that VR shooter, um, based on what you felt so far, what you've, what you've seen so far, um, how would you rate it, uh, to the PSVR 1? Uh, it's way better than the 1. It looks better and it doesn't make you feel all weird and, you know, vertigo and stuff like that when you're playing it. Um, I like, I like most of the games. I don't really, well, I like the kayaking game, but I'm not that good at it. To me, that's just, it's just something Um, to show people, you know? Yeah. Uh, but my sister was really good at it the first time she played it, so. So, uh. Do you think, like, if a person has an extra cash, it's kind of expensive. PSVR 2 is five fifty, and then you can get the the combo deal with the Horizon for six hundred. Um, do you think it's worth it for people who like VR? I mean, I, I mean, yeah, I think it's definitely worth it if you plan on playing it, you know, a lot, because it is a big investment. It's like. The technology is so cool, man. It tracks your eyes. Like, if you look at the menus, like, if you look around, it's it's looking with you, so you don't have to push any buttons. It's really insane how it has a pass-through. You can map off the area, and if you're playing a game, it'll let you know if you're getting close to it. You see that big red grid. It's so cool. I love PSVR, too. Um, it doesn't have the killer apps that I want to see yet, but Resident Evil Village feels good. Um, I actually had reservations about getting into Resident Evil Village because Resident Evil 7 was on PSVR 1 and I did play through that entire game in VR and and it was uh, needless to say an arduous process it was a little tough to um, go through the whole thing and that it wasn't very comfortable and, and you did get a lot of that vertigo sensation this here is absolutely absolutely perfect the way it feels when you look around you never get that vertigo everything is crystal clear the technology is so new like whatever you look at you'll get a higher resolution than the area around it it's it's really 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 awesome and uh i think that as time goes on and they they release some killer apps for this thing that take you out of your house or put you in a different place and make you really feel like you're there i can't wait to see what they do with it i'm just happy i paid the price of admission yeah <laughs> Happy I paid the price of admission. So that's that's what I think about it. Um, so we, we've had a really interesting gaming week. Uh, I talked to lots of friends. Well, Go ahead. Also, I got my new computer and oh, yeah, her gaming played computer. Dark Tide. I really like that game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, she also oh, got, her, yeah. got her gaming PC. It's more powerful than mine. And, uh, you know, everything is set up now. We're trying to get this space together for you guys so we can game and make some great content. Drop a like in the video if you'd be good, my sir or my ma'am. If you guys haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel and share it where you guys share stuff. I'm the Beastly Gamer. And I'm Kate. We'll see you guys next time.